over the last 300 years plus, um, we got quite acquainted with uh, the tuning, the equal temperament tuning, in which, because of certain choice made, the Pythagorean comma, as they say, or the Wolf fifth was distributed over all the different tones within the octave. That led the choice, they, the reason why they made it, they do that, is because they wanted to play multitonal music. Multitonal means, for those of you who are not in music, which I am not either, sorry, I can't play a piece of it, and I'm doing the, the number thing, means that you can play different chords without retuning constantly, which was an issue before. So Bach guy, long time ago, thought, let me clever, let me be clever. I just distribute all this falseness, this wolf fifth, which is it's called, the howling of the wolf when you, when you play it. Uh, let me just distribute it over all the tones. Then it became the equal temperament music. Correct, Jan? Yeah. The, the falseness, as we, let's call it falseness, but we got used to it. That's a reference point, is the world is as it is, it's false, but we can't do anything about it, you know, because we forget that it's our own choice. Same goes with a uh, tuning of an instrument. If you choose a system which includes falseness by definition, <laughs> and then you can't get it out. Whatever you try to do, you, it still remains. You can move it from left to right, split it up, whatever you want to do, but it remains in. If you want to get rid of this howling wolf, you have to review <coughs> your entire assumptions. So the basic assumptions that were made to create at first this first tuning, which is already for thousands of years used. Pythagoras used it, and Bach came up with these ideas, as I, as I just told. The number nine, or something, uh, no, before start, starting to talk about number nine, music does something to us. Music, music is frequencies. Frequencies are numbers. Numbers carry specific energies. All of that is known in the past. In the ancient uh, times, the ancient cultures knew that numbers carried certain energies, certain characteristics, we say. We use them in business as well as the Enneagram. Maybe you are familiar with it. Communication between two different types of persons in a certain way, and you need to behave like that. Well, mm -hmm. it's nice, please behave in your normal way. <laughs> Otherwise, you become a robot if you just follow the rules of the Enneagram. It's to teach, it's not to be orders. Um, the number nine in these numbers has a very specific meaning. It is a number which is the only number when you double and use the key that you can, that I talked about this morning, that you can see as well in the solution of the primes, which is still upstairs. It's the only one number that remains a nine that remains itself. Let me explain. One times nine is nine, two times nine is 18. The simple key of returning everything to its base is, it's, is the key that returns everything to the numbers of one to nine. 18 equals nine, because it's one plus eight. 27 plus the same, two plus seven. 36 plus three plus six, 45, four plus five, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Do that with any other number and you will see movement going on. So the nine remains a nine, it's focused, it's still. Try it with eight. You will see that eight times two is 16. 16 is one plus six is seven. So if you use, if you use another number and you don't know what you're doing because you don't know the background of the numbers and you introduce, for example, 440 hertz, 440 is an eight. The double of the 440 is 880, 880. But 880 is not an eight. 880 is a seven. Eight plus eight plus zero is 16. 16 plus seven. So now you have the next octave, which you believe to be the same because it's, it's overtone. Mm -hmm. But the energy characteristics within that overtone is totally different. You had an eight, now you have a seven, then you have the other, they follow in a sequence. One, two, four, eight, seven, five. Um, that's because we are doing things without understanding the background. We are just empirically busy. Well, knowing what numbers mean, you can apply this understanding in creating something new. 
the, that's how we created, Danilo created uh, the, uh, the choice, he made a choice of, 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 because everything is choice, so you have frequencies that fill in, fit in a certain pattern. We chose, I chose specifically the number nine. It's called Divine Nine Music, yet still it is a choice. And I want to under, underline that, that if you want to create something else, the nine has a certain specifics, but if you want to create other kind of music, feel free. If you want to include threes or sixes or twos, or but know that the characteristics of the energy are different so that you get another input which will create other kind of emotions within you. That's what music is about, emotion, right? It does something to us. The Divine Nine music only uses frequencies which are nines. The distance between frequencies, consecutive frequencies, is nine. So you can leave out the tone, it remains nine. It's all nine based. Why nine? Nine is neutral. Neutral allows, in theory, because of the distinct characteristics of the energy, this allows any person to solve its own problems without being pushed around by an external effect. The nine is neutral, it feeds, but let's imagine you have a situation or a complex problem or whatever, which is characterized number two, and you are pushed around by a seven, but you don't like at that moment because you want to focus on the two, the nine will not change the characteristics of the number two. Because if you add a nine, two will become 11, but the rest will remain, it will keep its own characteristics. <laughs> well, let's say your problem is not the same as your problem. If you have any, I hope you don't, but <laughs> if you might have a, uh, or a healing thing or something in your body or a mental thing, uh, problem that you're thinking about. <laughs> so if you are lo listening at the same music, in the existing Bach equal temperament, <coughs> it will push you around because of the choice. Yet in the nine music, you will take from the nine what you need. You can take from the nine what you need. That counts for all of us. So that's what I would like to share with you as an introduction before listening to the music. I'd like you to get in and feel what the music does with you. It's all about emotions, it's all about experience, it's all about being pushed around in a certain way, or not being pushed around, but yet still receiving. So that's what I hope that you will take with you after this hour of uh, being introduced to Divine Nine Music as the alternative, and maybe we'll, we'll see what happens next. <laughs> 